Onsong 2024 is a huge new update with lots of new features. So we're gonna go over some of those for you right now. But just because it's new doesn't mean you have to update right away. When we release, we're going to immediately make it so it doesn't automatically install on your devices. That way you can take a look at all these new features and all the videos that we've produced so you can learn more about it before taking that leap. Then later this summer, we will automatically push that onto your device, which is how it normally works. If you don't want on some 2024, make sure to disable automatic app updates, and that way you'll stay on Onsong 2023. So let's take a look at some of the great new features of Onsong. First is Onsong Cloud. Onsong Cloud has three different components. One, we automatically back up your library to your Onsong Cloud, and if for any reason, your iPad is lost or stolen or something happens, when you install Onsong the next time and sign in with your Onsong account, we will prompt you to restore the latest backup. It's real easy. Two, Onsong Drive lets you transfer files to and from regular cloud storage. That means you don't need Dropbox or Google Drive to move your files around. And we'll be adding some more ways to access your Onsong Drive a little later. And the last one is inside of our other new feature called the new Unified Share menu. Onsong automatically uploads the content you want to share to the cloud. It can send emails, push notifications, and make sure that your team gets the message no matter where they're at in the world. Speaking of the Unified Share menu, that's the next great feature. We've redefined the new Share menu by making it even easier to use. You can easily just beam or stream to people that are nearby or people who you know. You can also easily export to locations like Dropbox or Google Drive or Onsong Drive. And you can access all your different services like email, print, or other apps to share there too. One of the most requested features of Onsong has been the ability to have two column support for text-based core charts. And we're happy to announce that we've just added that with the new unified rendering engine. So no matter where you see Onsong, whether it's in Onsong console, on the web, or on the device, the same rendering engine is used with lots of great features. First and foremost, this excellent new way that you can output via columns and multiple pages right on your device. Next, we have inline formatting, which means you can now bold, italicize, highlight, even underline content within your song and even have hyperlinks that go to videos or websites where you might want to have a tutorial. Lastly, we've introduced text formatting, which allows you to individually stylize different sections of your song. So for instance, you might want to style the bridge of your song differently than your chorus, and that can all be done through the very familiar style preferences menu. As you know, OnSong is designed to stay on so that you can continue your performance without touching the device. However, if you're using Onsong for a long period of time, maybe outside, this can really drain your battery. So we've added additional energy management features, which automatically can dim your screen while you're not using the app. And the minute that you press a foot pedal, have MIDI input, tap the screen, the screen brightens back up and you're back off and running. The screen brightness really is a huge driver in battery draw. So just dimming that screen to 25% can extend the life of your battery. We've also added the clock and timer widget. This allows you to just put large timers or countdown or count up clocks on your screen that stay there so you can easily know what time it is or how much time you have left in the set. And there's so much more. We've done hundreds of changes in this new app fixing lots of issues, adding lots of great new features, and making a lot of smart changes. I think you're really gonna like it. So again, you can download that now if you wanted to download it manually. You're more than welcome to do that. However, automatic updates of the app will not happen for a little bit later in the summer. And if you don't want Onsong 2024, and you wanna stay on the older version, make sure you disable automatic up app updates before we uh, flip the switch on that. So I hope you're as excited as I am about Onsong 2024. Keep in touch.